for the day it's slightly a bit different. We have providers coming in from the Iwi Health Board uh, to Piki Oranga and the DHB plus some nurses from the community. It's not for our kaumatua to be talked at, it's for our kaumatua to be able to feel safe enough to talk about their health journeys and where there might be gaps, what's working for them, and then we'll take that away and we'll make a strategy for what next for our kaumatua and also what sort of stuff that they can learn to pass on to their whanau. Enjoy being with each other. That seems to be a, a important thing for them is just to come and sit and whether it's reminiscing about the old days or having an opinion about the new days and what's what's going on today. So it's really just a time for them to enjoy themselves and for us to take that opportunity to um, find out more about how we can um, support them in, in this stage of their life. I've had a wonderful day so far. Tito Ihu have the largest influx of elderly people coming in to the district. A good many of them are Māori people and what I would like to know is who is looking after them. That lady presented that program very well. You were able to understand it and she was able to highlight all the, uh, the areas that are fatal for all of us and so uh, I, I just thank, thank the Lord for the opportunity. So we know the cancer rates uh, for Māori uh, are very high uh, nationally and regionally and so part of that bowel screening uh, program is for us to assist in making sure that the kaupapa is out there and to have that kōrero with their whānau and get the support that they need um, to go through the testing. In terms of the kaumātua and for and Ngāti Tamas uh, part in that would be that we make it a a regular thing on the calendar would be good.